part of the interest incurred for building your own assets for self-constructed assets can be capitalized, but there are strict rules around this. And that's because there's difficulty identifying indirect costs to assign to a project. You will have overhead allocation. Incremental overhead cost approach will exclude any unavoidable costs. And then there's the full cost approach. This is the GAP preferred method. It uses traditional cost drivers to include all costs. But when we're talking about studying capitalization for overhead, that's more of a cost accounting focus. In this course, we focus on the financial side, the interest capitalization. The cost of an asset should include all costs necessary to ready it for use. That's a general gap rule. Following historic cost and the matching principle, we are allowed to capitalize some of the interest. But there's specific rules, as mentioned. So we can capitalize interest as it relates to buildings, machinery, land improvements to be used by others or used internally. We are not allowed to capitalize inventory routinely manufactured, fixed assets held before or after a construction period. So you have to watch the time. You have to record the, the time these fixed assets were in use very carefully. You are allowed to to capitalize interest associated with fixed assets intended for sale or lease and those constructed as discrete projects. Now, once the construction is complete and the asset is sitting idle, you have to expense any future interest immediately. You have to stop capitalization. Interest associated with land improvements may be capitalized during ordinary delays of construction, but not intentional delays. You can't intentionally delay your construction just so you can capitalize more interest. And the general rules for calculating, you're going to use the weighted average amount of accumulated expenditures. Focus on what is spent. You don't get to capitalize the entire interest only as it relates to the amount that you spend of your borrowed funds. So you only capitalize interest on the money actually spent. Capitalization will begin when all three conditions are met. Expenditures for the asset have been made. Activities necessary to get the asset ready for its intended use are in, underway. And interest costs are being incurred. Capitalization can continue as long as all three criteria are met. If, if only two are met, you cannot capitalize it. You must expense it. So here is a summary for interest before construction, during construction, and after construction. So you borrow money. You put it in the bank because you know you're going to use it. You're going to draw from it over the year for your construction project, but it's not currently in use, then any interest must be expensed immediately. For borrowed funds, weighted average of accumulated expenses or expenditures. Before construction, no, none. During construction, you can capitalize, but once construction is complete, you have to then start expensing it again. And any excess above amounts borrowed excess expenditures, then you capitalize during construction, you expense it after construction is complete. So how do I determine what my average is? This is going to approximate the average debt needed for construction, and you're going to include only the portion of interest cost during construction that could have been avoided if construction was not undertaken. The interest should be determined only for construction costs actually incurred, not how much was borrowed. That's a key, and auditors will look for that. You're going to use the weighted average of your accumulated expenditures. How much did I spend already? So let's go through an example. You borrowed $1 million at 8% on January 2, specifically for a construction project. But you have other long-term borrowing, including 3 million at 6%. So you're going to be able to use both of this, but only after you use the specific first. So first, what is your weighted average accumulated expenditures? January 5th, I spent 
400000 That's the entire year. You can round up to the full month of January. Portion of the year, 12 months. Average ex accumulated expenditures for that is 400000 You had you the entire year. Then in April, again, round to the nearest month, 350000 times nine months, April through December. August 27th, spent 500000 Round to the nearest month, it's closer to September, so don't count August, just September, October, November, December. It's four months. November 30th, or third, round to the nearest month. You can call this two months. So your total expenditures, $1.85 million. Average expenditures, $929,117. This is how you calculate your weighted average expenditures. And that is a typo, November 3rd, 2013, it should be. This is an old PowerPoint revised for this recording this year in 2015. Your interest capitalization, 929.117 times 8%, because you're going to use that 8%. Asset under construction, 1,924,000. So I'm going to capitalize the expenditure, 1.85 million, plus 8% interest on the average accumulated expenditures. Now, as a general rule, interest does not have to be specifically borrowed for construction, only that the company has other outstanding debt. You're going to use a weighted average interest rate on all other debt. Interest rate used for capitalization. Other loans total, $7 million. Interest total based on the different interest rates, 700000 So the interest rate I will use for capitalization is going to be 10%. You always want to use interest rate from a construction-specific loan first. And then when the total average expenditures exceed the construction loan, you use that weighted average rate of all other long-term interest from that prior slide. Only capitalized interest that can be applied to the actual construction expenses incurred, not the total interest on the total borrowed funds. These are the gap rules that you have to follow. Do not reduce the capitalized interest on interest revenue earned from unused portion of debt. You're going to capitalize the interest. Should It should never exceed the actual interest cost. And that is a summary of interest capitalization rules.